live in an amazing time where technology is evolving quickly. We're seeing rapid growth and rapid change, yet there are uh, technologies that have been around forever. Assistive technology is pretty much defined as anything that assists individuals with disabilities to accomplish functional um, life needs. When we were first thinking about designing the LDA, AMAC, uh, Assistive Technology Solutions Lab, we knew we needed to have uh, assistive technology experts from around the country. Um, we also knew we wanted to have technology devices that we could show that they could interact with, see, play, you know, get their hands on. Often what we do is uh, go ahead and bring them in and, and start looking at solutions that would work. We look first at um, what's their experience with technology, we look at what, what's their goal, what is it they want to accomplish, and then we try to integrate and fit strategies and technology solutions around that person in a way that is slow but also leads to success. So I've worked with literally thousands of people with learning disabilities where there is a conflict between um, remediation and learning how to read and then integrating assistive technology and that being seen as a crutch. People will sometimes say, well, I don't think it's appropriate for us to use technology that reads to a child because then they'll never learn to read. And the reality is it wouldn't be appropriate if what we're doing is not teaching that child to read. So if we have a young child um, and they have difficulty with reading, our focus really should be on instruction. But by the time you hit third or fourth grade, you're really moving from that learning to read paradigm to a, a reading to learn paradigm where, where kids have to have access to content. Third or fourth grade, if a child is still struggling to learn to read, we begin to use assistive technologies. Though we wouldn't take away the instruction on reading. There is an Assistive Technology Act program in every state and territory. We're charged with um, providing demonstrations of technology and we also, most of the ATAC programs have loan closets where you can actually try something out before you buy it. The other thing that's really cool is we have a national project called the Pass It On Center and you can get to that at passitoncenter.org. And when you get there you can actually find the network of reused equipment um, when it comes to assistive technology. So you can find computers, tablets, um, durable medical equipment, any number of different devices. Um, there's a whole bunch of equipment that's out there. I feel like um, success with technology uh, looks like seamless integration into somebody's life. It's not about the technology, it's about the goal that's accomplished. It's about that dream that's realized. I don't define the goal, you define the goal. Um, I know my goals, you know your goals. And what we do is we just integrate assistive technology along the way to make those goals a reality. <laughs>